really how dare you say it that? It looks word. like a shoe. See there, that's a swimming pool specifically for these villas that you can go and use. There's the pool at the main resort. Oh, hello, got a friend just flown in. Hello, oh, flown off again. Come in, um, straight into the lounge where you've got a nice seating area and a television. Nice pictures and lamps. And then you've got these big patio doors again onto that eating area. There you go, open the door so you can go out there straight in from this lounge. So if I spin round slowly, you've got the lounge area with the television, and then you've got the staircase which goes up to the master bedroom, and only a small little breakfast table here with only two chairs, but there is four of us, so there is a little stool there I could use, and this big stall here we could pull up to that small table if we we're going to eat inside, but we probably eat outside. And then this is your kitchenette area. You've got a full-size fridge and freezer, which is really handy. Um, what I like is there's lots of windows all over the place. You can get lot, you know, you can get the air flowing through. So that's really lovely. I love fresh air. So here you've got your freezer, plenty of ice making kit, and very clean. Lovely big fridge which is perfectly adequate, plenty adequate for our family of four. This villa is actually supposed to sleep six because I think that sofa there turns into a sofa bed. But we uh, decided to get the two bedroom villa for four because daddy sometimes snores. So we thought we'd get a separate bedroom. Um, got your plates, your dishes up here. You know, the essentials that you need, pretty basic um, mugs, some glassware over here on the shelf outside trays all very beautifully clean electric hob toaster um, electric oven with the frying pans in there and you've got your saucepans your cutlery bin down here and I believe if you get the VIP uh, villa you this blank here this is blank in our villa I believe that's a washing machine but we didn't need that we're only here for nine days and you've got a small dishwasher which is uh, perfectly adequate again for our family of four coffee machine which we will be buying coffee for and this above this you've got this uh, really wacky design staircase that goes up to the master bedroom so again I'll give you a spin round or extractor fan so that's your kitchenette area so it's compact, but all you need really. There you go. But uh, very nice seeing your little table and chairs here and your lounge all the way around. And that's to your front garden with your table and chairs. So coming off this lounge, you walk through, you've got the mirror. Hi, here I am doing the vlog. Here we In here, you've got the bedroom that we're gonna be using for the kids or maybe daddy if he snores. You've got two single beds in here, nice and styly, lovely and clean, all tiled floors everywhere, massive wardrobe. So really neat, lots of hanging space in there. And on the other side, nice drawers, but really nice quality. And then here you've got again, a set of patio doors, which goes out again. There's a swimming pool there that my kids are currently exploring. So you can open this door, lovely fresh air, and you can nice get white, stylish, plain linen. We like that. And then across from this little bedroom is quite a nice, stylish shower room. So in here you've got this lovely deep um, basin, some things, little toiletries to supply you with, black slate walls, hair dryer supplied, and this big glass mirror. Blimey, that must be a bit of a mission to clean. Um, all the white towels here beautifully with the logo of the Ariga Mare 
resort on them. I believe you're not allowed to take these tiles to the communal swimming pools. So you can either hire tile, tile, towels for that or bring your own. Lovely big wet room shower here. And again, I've thrown open the window because I love the fresh air. And again, there's the view. And there's the swimming pool again, just out here. So I've left the windows open so you can see the shower. I'm standing in the corner now. Okay, so let's go out of here, back into the kitchen and lounge area. As you can see, that was the bedroom and up these stairs, up to mummy and daddy's room. Another lovely window up here, which we've opened to get some fresh air through. And what I liked about this villa is you've got two bathrooms and this one has a bath in it because mummy loves her baths. I love to relax in a bath with my bubble bath, so not just a shower for me at the indent. Again, I've thrown the windows open, you've got a lovely view out. You can see the sea across the tennis courts over there. Lovely. And you can see you've got the toilet there. There you go. The lights above, nice and fresh, white and blue. And then finally, into the master suite. So you walk in here, I've opened up the uh, patio in here, patio doors again. I've thrown open the windows. So again, the same view. You can see the hire car. That's the only other car I've seen. <laughs> um, and lots and lots of hanging space in this bedroom. Floor to ceiling wardrobes. Out the patio doors here to a surprise. Ooh, which we weren't expecting is you've got a lovely your own private terrace out here which is lovely and it's really protected from the wind so you've got this lovely sun terrace and I think mummy is going to find herself sat out here reading my kindle app on my ipad out here looking at the view that looks like the cleaning staff down there the housekeeping staff I think those villas are all shut up at the moment and I'll explain about that later the villa is also air conditioned, so you've got air conditioning up there. Morning. Um, I thought it was worth showing this because they've got these fantastic shutters on the window. So here we go. This is me opening them in the morning. <laughs> See, you've got the windows and then behind them, you've got these like, this reflection, I'll open the window. See, you've got these metal shutters. And they are amazing. They keep they keep the room so dark. So if you've got a baby and you need to put them down for a nap at lunchtime, you've got no problem here. We have a very helpful safe. This is big enough in this safe to put in a laptop or the iPads or I think pretty much any laptop will be able to fit in here. But then um yeah, it's I don't think it's gonna be broken into, I've got to say. I just thought I'd show you what it's like waking up here and I had the aircon unit on last night, I don't know if you can see that up there and I got so <laughs> chilly I put it on a bit low that I had to put on my pyjama top because it was a bit chilly but I actually slept really well, I like sleeping with the duvet right up to here. 